What's up, Capstone family? This is Ed Drummond coming at you on this Friday, the 16th of July, 2021. And just wanted to give you a shout here before the weekend. Um, it is still amazingly hot in Phoenix. However, uh, we did have rain this week. So uh, let's be sure those roofs are extra tight. And of course, ACs are running optimally. Um, I remember waking up here a couple days ago and it was like 60% humidity. I was like, oh, for Arizona, that's no good. Uh, but hey, I am just happy that it is another amazing day and we're ready to uh, kind of get into the weekend. Uh, you might notice if you have had a conversation with anyone at Capstone today, uh, it is our profit share day. Woohoo! So the team, um, as most of you know, or maybe some of you don't, um, one, of the, one of the benefits, I mean, honestly, at the end of the day, um, we offer profit share here at Capstone. So every team member... Uh, is tied into that and it is a way that uh, keeps everybody motivated, keeps everybody focused as a team and really um, it's, it's helped to scale. As we grow, um, that profit sharing is evolving into something more and more that looks like uh, maybe an ESOP or something similar um, so that the people that you talk to on the other end of the phone are incentivized to making sure that the service that you get is better than the next company. Um, we're growing right now uh, at a pretty good clip, uh, last year over, let's see, this year over last year, uh, we're about 22% up on the bottom line, which is great. The team is doing really, really well. A lot of what we have going on is uh, due to the resale side, uh, which is very, very, very strong. Uh, we're at about 150% of production from last year with a smaller resale team. Um, so that's great. Um, it's just we're able to help more people right now, and the team is is crushing it like I gotta I gotta give it hands down I feel like we're running the best team we've ever had right now and I hope you feel that too um, so thank you for that um, it's always good just to let you know kind of disclosure like where things are at with the business so that you know that hey <laughs> you know at least we're profitable right so it's not like we're going away tomorrow which is great uh, I remember back in the day some of the companies before we, you know the reason why we started property management is because we were looking for someone to help us and you know, some of the companies that I talked to after a year of talking to them, like they were gone. And it was like, what the heck? Like what happened? Um, but now sitting where we are, I can see how that could be possible. Um, but I'm glad that, you know, we have the team that we do and they're awesome. They're amazing. I'm, I feel so blessed to be able to have, um, you know, be surrounded with the people that we do here in the office. Um, hey, so today, no HOAs. Uh, HOAs, uh, and, and let me tell you where I'm coming from. We're selling a lot of properties right now for our for our clients or for uh, you know from our PM clients or from other clients that have worked with us in the past on the sales side, and uh, what we're seeing is that you know properties in HOAs. If you have an HOA, there is an exceptionally high probability. Right now, we're batting like hundred percent that once we put it under contract, we're going to start getting notifications of some reason why the HOA wants. Uh, wants money. Um, at the end of the day, like it could be the smallest of infractions, uh, but you're not going to really, sometimes you don't find out about it until you put your house on the market and they do a walk of your property and see where they can, you know, get, get some dollars on the back end, on the, on the, in the back door. Um, when the market downturned in 2008, 2009, uh, HOA has really got left holding the bag because you know, people didn't have the money to even go after them for, you know, for issues. So they would try to shake people down. I say shake people. They would, they would send them to collections and, you know, people didn't have the reserves. They didn't have the resources. So this seems to be the opposite where the HOAs realize that everybody does have some equity in their property. So, you know, leaving the property in better condition than when you when when it's the transaction even started. Uh, it seems to be the motivation of a lot of these HOAs right now. So just a heads up, if you're selling your property, um, be aware that you're probably, if, it, if you're selling it and it's in an HOA, you're more than likely you're going to have some sort of infraction that's going to need to be rectified, whether it's a, a tree that they decide now needs to be uh, cut back or removed, uh, or, um, I mean, shoot, even uh, just a uh, discoloration on the front, maybe a paint job, maybe, I, I mean, we've seen a lot lately, um, so heads up. Other than that, um, resale market is still moving along super strong. Um, from this year, last, so so year over year, right now we're running at a 24.2% uh, 
uh, increase on the median home price in there in the valley, uh, you know, which is amazing. But again, gets to our point from the conversation we had last week, where you know, at the end of the day, like Phoenix is just growing up, and the more I talk to people that are in the industry, whether they're in different, you know, markets on the on the, uh, you know, real estate side, whether it be you know industrial commercial or multifamily commercial or you know they're doing something specific like there's even even some of the office space guys that i've talked to in the last week feel that this market is still poised for a lot of upside potential um and and that's a great sign that's a good thing um i actually even heard i know i've been mentioning you know the worry about water but i heard some really interesting stories recently about the aquifers and the, the water that we do have that comes off the Mogollon Rim and where it goes and how people are tracking that and how much is there. And it's like, wow, okay, so I guess, you know, we might be back to that not really having to worry too much about water again. Um, but, you know, I think it's it's definitely something that needs to be needs to be talked about and they need to figure out, hey, where are those reserves gonna come from in the future? Um, but cool, thanks for watching. Um, I know this was kind of a rambler, uh, I'm stoked. The team is pumped right now. It's a it's a great feeling in the office. It's a great feeling to feel like we're we're really moving the needle for the people in this office and for you as our clients. And you know, just being able to do what we want to do and and love doing it. I appreciate it. Thank you.